What's up YouTube, JP here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get an extra 5 to 10 FPS on the Steam Deck. And no, we're not going to be overclocking the APU or turning up the TDP. So, without further delay, let's dive in. So I was made aware of this really cool software that can turn your games from this to this. Now this software is made by Cryobyte33 and it's really easy to install. Now there's a couple of things we need to change on the Steam Deck before we can actually install this. The first thing is we need to go into the BIOS and change the 1GB VRAM to 4GB. So let's go and do that now. So with the Steam Deck powered off, we're going to hold the volume up, the button with the three dots and then push the power button. Then release the power button and keep holding these until we see this screen. Then you want to go to Setup Utility and then go to Advanced and then go to UMA Frame Buffer Size. This should be set to 1 gig and we want to set it to 4 gig. Once you've done that, you can click on Exit and then Exit Saving the Changes. So now we've got that done, we need to go on to the desktop mode on the Steam Deck and we need to set a root password. Now if you've already done that, that's great, but if you haven't, like me, let's go ahead and do that now. So once you're on the desktop, you want to click on the Steam icon and then go to System and then Console. And in here, you're going to type in P-A-S-S-W-D. And this is basically going to ask you for a new password. So you type the password in here and you're not going to see anything on the screen for security reasons. And then you push enter, it'll ask you for the same password again. You push enter and you'll get a successful message. So now we've set the root password, we can basically give that to the software so it can make all those system changes. So let's jump back over to the Steam Deck and get this installed. So now we're back on the Steam Deck in desktop mode, you're going to want to open a web browser. I use Firefox here. Now I'll put the link for the GitHub in the description, but if you don't have it or you can't copy and paste it across, just search for Cryobyte33, just as you see me doing here. The second result down should be the GitHub page. So click on that and it should look like this. So now we're on the GitHub page, we want to get this installed. So if you scroll down, just under where you see install, you should see download this link. Now you want to right click on it and save link as. And I decided to put it on the desktop because it's just so much easier. So if you click save here, that should put it straight on the desktop and it doesn't take long to install. So we can now close this web page and as you can see, it's right here. So double click on that and then click continue. And this is basically going to install three things. And as you can see, we've got three new icons on the desktop. Cryo Utilities, Cryo Utilities Uninstall, and then we've got Update Cryo Utilities. But what we want to click on is Cryo Utilities. It'll have a little disclaimer, which you need to accept the terms. Next, we need to enter that root password that we set earlier on. So type it in here and then hit submit. Now there's lots of different settings here and it explains everything on Cryobyte33's YouTube channel, which we'll put a link in the description below. But what I decided to do is just go with the recommended settings. So just click on recommended. Now, of course, once it says recommended settings applied, you can just click OK. You can close this window and then you can return to gaming mode because we are done now. That's everything set up. So in summary, I don't know why anyone wouldn't want to install this. It's free FPS at the end of the day and it's not overclocking the APU, CPU graphics or anything like that, which might make the CPU wear out quicker. Now across other games I tested, I found I was getting five to 10 FPS increase. 
couple of games didn't really gain much at all, but then again, I never found any games that ran any worse. So I'm gonna end the video here, but if you do find value in my content, please like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. I'm JP, you've been watching Alien Retro Gaming, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.